guys welcome to my channel if you are new here i am a soon to be a mom to two little boys our oldest is a little bit over two years old and i am currently 38 and five days pregnant i'm getting induced at 39 and two so we are less than a week out now from meeting our second little boy you can see the bump is bumping but as a second time mom i thought i would share with you guys what i am packing in my hospital hospital bag the second time around that way if you are a first time mom or second time mom and interested in what you should pack or what other people are packing this might be insightful for you um, this is the bag that i decided to take it is a weekender bag um, the print of it i've definitely outgrown since i bought this i bought this the with my firstborn son to take to the hospital as a hospital bag i probably nowadays would have gone with something more basic but i am a mom who's on a budget and being frugal and i already have a bag so why would i buy another one um, this one specifically I did buy on Amazon, so if you're interested in it, I can link it down below or something similar. Um, I do love that this has a lot of space. It has the big pocket and it has the zipper pocket on the bottom. And then it has a side pocket and it has the slip so you can slip it over your roller suitcase which is what my husband normally packs. He will pack a roller suitcase. So then it makes it easier to pack any extra stuff that we wanna take from the hospital when we leave. And he can put this over the roller so he has less to carry on his back. So um, the first thing that I have here is a little hair clip. I don't know if I'll need it or want it, but I have one just in case. Um, this side little zipper pocket here, I've got nothing in at the moment, but I do plan on putting my wallet in here the day of. Obviously, I need my wallet until induction day, so it's not in there yet, but I love that this outside pocket is easy access because I know I'll have to pull out my IDs and whatnot as soon as I get to the hospital. And I will apologize in advance, you guys, if I run out of breath. Like I said, I'm 38 weeks and five days pregnant, so you know if you're expecting. Um, in this bottom pack, bottom section, um, I like to put some postpartum stuff in here. And specifically, I don't really love the mesh underwear that they give you at the hospital. They're never great, they're never comfortable. I definitely wore them like right after birth, but once I switched into my own clothes, I did choose to wear adult diapers. Um, these are the ones that I go with. Um, they are the always diapers. They look like this. They have um, a beige color that has like cute little prints on them. These ones are just black, black basic, but these are way more comfortable and they suck you in after you've given birth and they just like, it's better than wearing the mesh underwear they give you. So I did pack a, almost the whole case in the bottom of this, like this. I did also pack some pads. I know that the hospital will provide almost everything I need, but I just threw a couple in here just in case. I would say that I'm somewhat of an overpacker, so if you are a minimalist, this video is probably not for you, but <laughs> uh, I did pack some pads. And then I also packed some nursing pads uh, with my firstborn son. My milk didn't come in until I got home, so about 48 to 72 hours after birth, but, uh, just in case it comes early this time, because I know I've had more colostrum this time around than I ever did with my first. Um, these are just nursing pads. They're the Lansino um, brand. They have sticky, un they're sticky. You unpeel the stick, stick it in your bra, and they're disposable. I also packed a pair of flip flops just for the shower when I choose to shower at the hospital. And then I packed a pair of slippers that I don't really care if they get dirty. They're already worn in, so if anything messy gets on them at the hospital, I won't be butt hurt. If there's any Swifties out there, let me know in the comments down below. They say, meet me at midnight. My husband got me these for Christmas. Moving on to the inside of the bag. So let me just pull out the clothes. Like I said, I'm a little bit of an overpacker, but it's always better to be over prepared than under prepared and especially if i have the space in my bag starting off with my little makeup bag 
I obviously did want to pack some makeup just in case. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be feeling postpartum, but in the event that I'm feeling good enough to put on makeup and take pictures, I would like to have the option. So I just packed this little makeup bag. There's some hair ties in here, hair scrunchie, um, and then um, just basic necessities. I have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Foundation. I did a waterproof CoverGirl mascara. This is the Lash, Lash Blast Clean. Um, two makeup brushes and a Wet n Wild blush. I also have just an eyebrow pencil in here. It's by Wet n Wild. I went really cheap. And then a Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Chapstick because the hospital can be very drying and you're gonna want a chapstick. Um, that's all I have in this little pouch here. I also packed a little portable mirror just in case I want to do my makeup while lying in the hospital bed and not having to go to the bathroom to do it. This mirror right here I bought on Amazon. It was viral for a while. It's the light up so it's rechargeable. I have good lighting from my hospital bed. I also packed myself a lotion. This is the but belly butter that I've been using my almost my entire pregnancy is the Palmer's cocoa butter formula this one is the massage cream for stretch marks I figured excuse me I could use this on my hands on my belly anywhere I need um, throughout my pregnancy I've also been using like the belly butter and the oil and whatnot but this is the one that I'm packing easy to go in my hospital bag I packed a little mini wet brush instead of having to pack a big brush I packed a portable toothbrush, portable little toothpaste, and then these little floss picks that I bought in a set on Amazon. These are really handy for your car or anywhere, your purse, on the go. Um, it's a little case and then it has little toothpicks in it, so toothpicks and floss in it. I figured this was easier. I could already have it packed in my bag versus packing my toothbrush and toothpaste that I already have in the bathroom, but you are able to do that if you'd like. I packed a super long phone charger because the plugs are never close to the hospital bed so you're going to want something that's long to plug your phone in. I figure especially with me being induced I don't know how long induction is going to take. With my firstborn son I was not induced. I went into labor naturally. He came on his due date and labor moved pretty fast. I labored for the most part at home before going in. But with this time around being induced, I don't know how long I'm going to be at the hospital, so definitely will probably be on my phone. <clears throat> and then hopefully this will be long enough, but in the event that this is not long enough or I need an extra plug, I did pack this little purple extension cord that has three plugs on it. So I can also plug this in behind my hospital bag and route it up. I also packed some other hygiene products. I packed a shampoo and conditioner, just the Pantene Daily Moisture. Um, I can't remember, we're in military, so we are delivering at a naval hospital. I don't think with my firstborn son they gave us shampoo and conditioner. They probably had it if we would have asked for it, but I also just packed it, so easy. This is what I use at home normally anyway. I packed some makeup cleansing towelettes. These are good obviously to take off your makeup, but also just like if I need a refresh on my face. And then, last but not least, some deodorant. This is the Native um, car Coconut Caramel Girl Scout Edition. It smells so good if you've never smelled this before. They also have a shampoo, conditioner, and a body wash in this scent, so it smells so good. <clears throat> that is everything for my hygiene and electronic products. Next, we'll move into clothes. I did pack a couple sets of PJs just because I want to be comfortable after I give birth. So for starters, I packed this black set. I got this at Target, it's the Auden brand. They're these little black shorts with the white. They're super loose and then the black button up top. These are super popular, especially after giving birth because they're super like breastfeeding friendly. With the buttons and nursing, you can easily whip out everything and also be discreet as people are coming in and out of your hospital room. And then this second set is actually one that I bought on Shein. 
Um, some of my followers had recommend recommended looking on there for like maternity clothes and stuff. So this is a set that I ordered. I thought the print was really fun and cute. I'm not sure how these are gonna fit after I give birth. Um, with my firstborn son, my belly went flat pretty pretty fast, and these are kind of like a more maternity style legging, but um, they do have like an adjuster on the inside so I can tighten them. And then what's cool about this top is here's the top. It has the zippers on the side so that you can also nurse with it. So it is nursing friendly. I will link everything down below if you're interested in snagging them. <clears throat> I also packed a couple pairs of postpartum underwear. Um, I've been at wearing these also through my pregnancy. I got these on Amazon. They're just black. They're a higher waisted so they just um, like tummy control and they're not like your cracks not riding out, you know, when you're pregnant. You can't wear your normal underwear anymore. I packed a pair of maternity leggings because I don't know if I'm going to want to wear my regular black leggings or maternity leggings after giving birth. So I packed a pair of maternity leggings and then I also packed a pair of plain black regular leggings that I wore pre-pregnancy. So whichever one fits or is more comfortable to um, come home in, that is what I'm going to be wearing. I packed two nursing tank tops. These ones I also got on Shein and they're super soft. They're not my most favorite nursing tank tops ever. I will probably invest in better ones, um, but they will do. The only reason I don't like these as much is normally there's like an extra string that keeps it so that your strap isn't falling off where these, like when you unclip it, it completely takes off the <laughs> strap. So you're left like fending for <laughs> finding your strap. But I packed it in this like um, tannish brown color and then I also packed it in a black. And then I packed two nursing bras. These ones I also got in Shein. It came in a pack of five. They're also not my most favorite, but they're gonna do for now. Um, they're just basic. They look like this. No padding or anything like that. I didn't really want a lot of that after giving birth, um, but they look like this. They come down and you just clip it right back up. So if I'm feeling up for it or coming home and I packed it in these colors because baby's coming home outfit and or first like picture outfit are these colors. And then to wear over, um, wearing home, I plan on wearing black leggings and a nursing tank top, nursing bra, and then I packed this mama sweatshirt. I got this on Amazon. It's really cute. I wanna say it was only like 30 bucks. It's completely embroidered. And then it also has on the sleeve, the little heart. And I just thought it was cute, cozy, casual to wear home from the hospital. But yeah, that is everything that I, oh, actually I lied. I do have one more second bag for my husband to carry into the hospital um, that is kind of in addition to my hospital bag. It's just this little reusable bag. It's Sanrio, we got it when we went to Japan at the airport. But I plan on bringing my own pillow and my own blanket. That is something that I did with my firstborn son and it just made my hospital stay cozy. Definitely pack something that you don't mind getting dirty. Um, mine didn't really get dirty or stained the first time around but there is always that possibility. So um, this is the blanket I'm bringing and then one of my pillows. And then I'm also packing some snacks <coughs> and some things for my husband and for my water. I don't like to drink plain water. And I feel like after birth, I'm going to be very dehydrated or thirsty anyway, especially once I start nursing. So I packed some liquid IV. I did the sugar-free rainbow sherbet. This is a pack of 10, which should really tie me over. And then I also did some crystal light, blueberry, um, blueberry raspberry and strawberry lemonade just to add into my water. And I think I can have that while I'm laboring as well. I'm not 100% positive, but I'll make sure I ask. I did two energy drinks. <laughs> These are for my husband so that he is like tip top game for <laughs> labor and delivery. And then just some random little snacks. We did like two packs of Dots pretzels, some Nerds gummy clusters. You'll see I am like a sweet tooth and I must have been like having a sweet tooth the day that I went shopping. 
This is a caramel macchiato trail mix from Target. Some milk chocolate covered pretzels. And just some lemonade fest sour patch kids. I'm sure after I give birth, I'm going to be starving and I will put in my request for a meal and my husband will go get whatever I'm craving. But that is everything that I'm packing on a whim in case I get hungry or snackish in the hospital. I am a big snacker, so I just wanted to have options. And I don't know what I'm gonna be craving once I give birth, but yeah, that now wraps up everything that I am packing in my hospital bag. I will leave a master list in the description box below if you're interested. That way you can refer back to it without having to rewatch the whole video. If you are a second time mom or first time mom or third, fourth or fifth time mom, let me know what you guys are packing in your hospital bag uh, as well. That way I can refer to it. Am I missing anything? Do you think I need less? let me know in the comments down below if you are also interested in seeing what i'm packing in my baby's hospital bag stay tuned because i am going to be filming a separate video for that so i'll see you guys in my next video and we're going to be having this baby soon as well so stay tuned i will be uh, filming my induction and all of that process so i'll see you guys next time bye